today is about day 10 child i am in a rush because i have a 9 a.m appointment and it's 8 55 okay here's it see the guy my nail tech is like she's not late i feel like maybe he has like a lot of clients today so i kind of need to rush but child there's a lot of commotion like why is it that when you're in a rush as in this commotions everywhere literally everywhere first of all there's a guy who was trying to block me when i was leaving the parking lot i was like nigga move the fuck over and he's not even from here like he doesn't even he's i've never seen that car before in my life so he doesn't live here he was beating someone up and he's trying to like stay at the entrance like yo and i was blocked again leaving the gate so i don't like this when I'm in a rush, people tend to be everywhere. Is this my nail tech behind me? Because if it's him and he made me rush, yeah, it's fucking him. It's him! I have rushed. Like, I'm, for the first time, I'm on time. For the first time, I'm on time. And the time that I'm on time, he just arrived i could i saw him he can't even lie so yeah let's go get my nails done i'm getting my christmas nails done because it's christmas and that's what you do when it's christmas so yeah basically that's it let's go y'all do i even have gum in here probably have gum do i yes yeah let me tell you a little story okay <laughs> y'all i was looking for my car keys okay and i was like where the hell did i put my car keys they're not in my bag they are not they're not in my bag they're not in my uh, he just got in they're not in my bag they're not in my car what what am i talking about they're not in my bag okay and they're not in my where i put the keys right so i was wondering where did i put them apparently i left them in my car on the ignition ignition it's not the first time but maybe i should stop i tend to leave them to leave it there so much the point that one day it's gonna get stolen but i only leave it like that when i'm home i'm gonna get home but when I'm outside, of course, I have to take it because I have to lock the car. But yeah, so let's go, y'all. Oh, that was a little story. I mean, I freaked out. I was like, what happened? Then I remember yesterday, I kind of left my car in a hurry, so I'm not even sure. But I've never left my car on. For sure, I've never left it on. But I've left it with the nini and the ignition multiple times. So yeah, let's go get my nails done. I don't think I'm gonna film that, but I'm gonna try. So yeah. Hey guys, so it is so much later, like so much later. Basically, it's about um 3:30, and I just finished editing Vlogmas 9. Okay, you would think it's going up right now. It's not. What's going up right now, actually, in the next 30 minutes, is Vlogmas 7. Yeah, that's what's going up. Vlogmas 7. So, ooh, y'all, here are my nails. Please focus on the nails. I wanted to do this cute Christmas nails. Um, yeah, it's just green with the, it's basically green, brown, and white. Basically. They look cute. They look cute. So, I finished, like, getting my nails done. I think, like, a, what time was it? Like, 1.15 given that i went there nine he always takes too long to do my nails but it's because it was a fresh set and it had a very complicated design it was a lot of drawings and stuff but that's okay so yeah i'm exhausted so exhausted um then i passed when i finished like getting my nails done i passed by um this place called kipusa beauty or something and i bought sea moss because i'm trying to you know have a healthy gut so there's a time my mom bought Simos, but we didn't take it because I wasn't really that serious 
with health or anything so it kind of expired on me using but that's fine <laughs> but yeah that's what i bought so chad i'm exhausted i want to talk to you guys about something first of all okay do you remember around vlogmas four i think day four i day four or five I was telling you guys, or six, I'm not even sure. The other time I was telling you guys about how I had an emotional breakdown, yada, yada, yada. Yes, you remember that? I finally came to terms as to why it happened. Here's the deal. I feel, I don't know how to put it. Like, there's a moment where I feel like I'm not doing enough. And I feel like other people are doing lesser. But I don't even know how to explain it. Like, here's the see, I got very much affected, kind of. But, like, I wasn't, like, affected, affected, like, a psycho. No. But I, I was, like, you know, I noticed. Um, you don't remember when my Jumbo hit the very first time. She was on... Y'all, sorry. I don't want to attach to the big tripod. I don't have the energy, so we're going to have to work with the handheld tripod. So, when she hit all over the world... I was not disappointed in myself. Probably, yes, disappointed in myself. Mostly because she was freaking 19. I was 21. Was I? Yes, I was 21. Okay, I've been working on this since I was 18. Maybe not professionally or seriously, but still. So I kind of did not... F I don't know what I was feeling at the moment because I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Da -da -da -da. I'm like... Am I not doing enough? That's also the reason why I restarted my channel, restarted my career. I cleaned everything off the internet, then I started afresh. Y'all, I apologize. I can see the camera moving. But I cleared up everything, erased any detail, and restarted as a brand new channel with a lot of, you know, with a lot of zeal. It's called zeal. Like, y'all. When I, when I do videos, when I post it, I'm editing, just so you know, I have put everything that I have in it, okay? This vlog, my series, everything that I have in it, given that I have been filming every single day. It's called, for me, it's not tiresome, I think, because I'm in love with what I do now. When I, okay, when I decided to become a full-time content creator, I had to love the, the job. I love it. That's why I can work and work and work and work. Yesterday, y'all... I edited and scheduled two freaking videos. Mind you, the, the previous day I had filmed two videos. So for me, filming, editing, yo, it's not even the big, okay, it is the core of my career, but it's the one thing that doesn't really stress me that much because I enjoy doing it. What stresses me, and I've, I've realized that I'm not gonna let it stress me no more, is I am so obsessed about other people's success that I fail to see mine. Like, yes, I am not like on Vogue. Yes, I'm not on freaking Forbes. Yes, um, you know, I don't walk right campus or whatever. But that doesn't mean my channel is stagnant or I'm not doing nothing. There's a lot going on, okay? Um, and I think for me, what I've learned or realized from that day is maybe I should stop looking outside and focus with on me. Because first of all, I don't even know how long those girls took, okay, to get to where they are, what they did and everything. So, I never saw the struggle when they were struggling. If they were struggling, I don't know if they were, I'm just guessing here, I'm just going on a limb. But, I only saw the success part, okay. And, I realized that I am too focused on the success part of other people that I'm forgetting that... One day is going to happen for me, but maybe today's not the date, tomorrow's not the date, probably even more, probably even maybe the next day is not even my time, but it's coming. The more consistent I am with whatever I'm doing, the more my chances of actually being successful in it. Because if I like quit right now, I haven't given anyone a chance to even find the channel. Or I've not even given people a chance to fall in love with my content and everything. So I think for me, I'm just... I'm going to ease up on the tension and the pressure that I've been giving myself lately uh, because I look at myself, I'm like, I'm 22, I haven't achieved anything in my life, like, what am I doing? But that's what other people are looking at me and they're like, how is she doing this at such a young age? You see, I am so obsessed or like, I think I have this cutting 
over my eyes when I look at like Kylie Jenner and like all those, you know, people who are successful at a very young age. And I kind of get like stressed out from that and I start like beating myself down because I am their age. Okay, well not really exactly their age, but I'm exactly where they were when they became big and successful. Like what, she was like a billionaire for 22 or something? I forget. But you see, like, when I like put that in my head, I start hating myself for not being a billionaire at 21. What I'm failing to remember is, okay, her sisters, the Kardashians, have basically created a platform for her. So all she had to do was take the extra mile. Now for me, no one is creating the platform for me. I'm going creating the platform from scratch. So yes, I'm not gonna become, uh, yes, I'm not gonna, you know, achieve all that at 21, but who said I'm not gonna achieve all of that at 31? So I, you can, I cannot say that I get jealous, it's not jealousy, but it's more like when it comes to people who are doing the same thing almost, for me, it's more like, wow, it happened for you very fast. But for me, it's taking its time. So, yeah, basically, that's it, okay? That's all I wanted to, like, highlight y'all. Like, I mean, I, mean, I think I'm maturing or I'm starting to learn myself. At this point, I'm not even sure which is which. But that's just one thing I wanted to point out. Because it affected me, y'all. Uh, y'all don't know. You see, I don't show my vulnerability on camera or in front of people. Actually, they're, they're like two people who can see me that vulnerable, too. And one of them is just even going beyond what I want to be seen. But, yeah, like, you know, I don't know how broken I was that day. Because, first of all, I was exhausted. Um, and I think exhaustion plus going on Instagram plus this plus that kind of maybe just, you know, maybe break. But I broke. It's okay. It's fixed. We're back to grinding, okay? <laughs> and maybe um, the next thing I'm supposed to be working on is less emotional breakdowns because life is good, okay? Yes, life is weird and full of difficulties, but also life can be good. So that is just what I wanted to say, y'all. Um, um, I know this video did not have like much going on this vlog, but because my day has been like that, I'll spend half my day getting my nails done and a quarter of it editing and then now this so I think when I see you guys on tomorrow's vlog I'm gonna take off my makeup I took off my earrings already I take off my makeup and catch up on a few series I feel sleepy but I'm not gonna sleep because if I sleep right now it's gonna fuck up my sleep schedule so yeah guys, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.